couple of changes. Um, obviously, Charlie's coming back into the mix, um, and uh, Paigey was 13, so she'll come in as well. So, um, obviously, very, very happy with uh, both those girls. Charlie's wealth of experience. We certainly we missed her uh, for her speed and ball playing in Kitakishu, so lovely to have her back. Uh, and Paige's sort of been working in and around the squad. She's already played a World Series tournament, so uh, nice to give her some more exposure and continue to try and develop the, the young girls. I've um, been getting through the steps of protocol to come back to play, so um, all going well. I'll be out on the field next weekend. I was so impressed, um, especially Yasmin brings a bit of physicality and she had some really good carries over in Japan, so i um, really excited to keep seeing her develop. And then um, Lauren obviously brings that really versatile um, ball player but also can play in the forwards and she's a really good kicker. So um, yeah, she's just one of those really key versatile players that um, you love having in your squad. She's a really young, uh, powerful girl, strong ball carrier, forward, uh, forward style player. Um, it's a real learning experience for her to come and see what the World Series is about. Uh, if someone gets injured, she'll be ready to step in and, and won't let anyone down. Uh, but essentially, like I said, it's a real learning curve. As I've said in the past, we want to be developing a core of girls that are, that are ready to step up uh, and fill the place of the, of the you know, senior players. Yeah, I guess it's at the back of everyone's mind, but yeah, we've got Canada first staff in our pool, so um, we've got to get through that one to even think about what's ahead of us and um, playing Canada at home first up is going to be tough, but it will definitely set the standard for the tournament ahead and um, good hit out.